Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak Fandraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? Awful things happen every day. Get used to it. Get used to being a pawn? To be discarded when the Maker's done with you? The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandon us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. So it's true. Butler has stand on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the report. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Wait, what are you doing? He betrayed us. He murdered my agent. And you'd kill him, just like that? You find fault with my decision? If he has knowledge, then he's a resource. Use him. He's a loose end who could escape and get word to our enemies. Butler's betrayal put our agents in danger. I condemned one man to save dozens. I may not like what I do, but it must be done. I cannot afford the luxury of ideals at a time like this. I expected better from the Inquisition's spy master. You've made that point clear. Apprehend Butler, but see that he lives. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. Reports of fade rifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. They called you the left hand of the divine. That they did? What of it?
What is the point of an Inquisition? Justinia would have started the Inquisition if the Divine Conclave failed to restore peace. She hoped that, with enough support, we could challenge the very tenets of the Chantry. She wanted the Chantry to treat the mages fairly. But sometimes I wonder, why stop at mages? The Chantry has committed many injustices. If we're going to change it, why not change the whole thing? <sighs> it's just a thought. None of this will be possible if we fail. Are you saying we'll fail without the Divine? I'm saying I thought it would be her leading us. Nothing more. What exactly does the left hand of the Divine do? A Divine always has enemies. And Justinia had more than most. I protected her. I watched, had an ear to every door. I identified threats, and I dealt with them. Why did Justinia have so many enemies? There were many who felt she was unfit to be divine. She had a past, a worldly life. Unlike many, she wasn't given to the Chantry as a child. She chose it, and somehow that made her unworthy. And because they thought she was unworthy, they wished her harm. So you were her spy master, too. I handled difficult situations that couldn't be resolved through more delicate means. I could use the left hand of the Divine at my side out there. Every agent out in the world is my eyes, my ears, my blade. Wherever my people are, I am also. Coming with you, leaving my post, would blind and bound me. Do you see? I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets. Made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest. Broken. Lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. Was there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers? Typical. I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Love is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, Yes, it was more than friendship. We'll talk more later. How about nails? Can have it at least. Can I help you with something? Farewell. Make a go with you. Thanks for checking anyway. <laughs> 